Hi, my name's Lucas. I'm with DiCarlo Precision, and I thought I'd make a video that would show you how to uh, merge the dot product uh, scan data with the uh, Focus 3D uh, data. I've been struggling with it for a little while, and finally figured out a, a nice workaround. And I thought it would be useful to uh, have a how-to online. So, uh, first thing that I've uh, I want to point out is if you try to bring in into scene um, any kind of data uh, that was captured uh, by the dot product scanner you will uh, run into this following issue I happen to have uh, a PTX file that I exported out of the actual scanner I can bring it into scene but it'll come up with these with this message that looks okay until you realize that it's going to ask you every single time and you have to confirm to import depending on the size of your scan this might take a few minutes to just okay every one every time uh, it wants to confirm the row and column import of your ptx file now this ptx file uh, even though it's a single ptx file seen for some reason uh, looks at it as individual three-second scans depending on the length of the scan and this is what you'll actually find out uh, you'll have to go through a lot of these and this was just getting on my uh, nerves and didn't have an idea how to fix so needless to say this is the wrong way to import if you look at 3D it does look like it's actually in there but can't really do much with it it's all upside down it's it doesn't seem to be working properly so the way to fix this is not import a PTX file but go online to the dot product homepage and then click on the workflows uh, little ribbon option uh, it's right here so and then it lets you download a free plugin that allows you to bring in uh, the, the, the directly the DP file out of the scanner without having to convert it into a PTX I'm not going to download it I just wanted to let you see where it actually happens or where it goes to once it's downloaded all you have to do is you have to unzip that file and uh, it needs to be installed into your recap folder uh, let me go into recap here it's under program files typically autodesk uh, autodesk recap and then it's in the plugins folder there it is so once you have that installed in recap just open up recap give it a name and we'll call this I don't know. Dot product. Call it one. And I will, instead of importing the PTX file, I will actually import the DP files that I have already downloaded from the receiver from the actual, you know, handheld scanner. And you notice that this file is the same one as this one, except this is the DP file, so I'll hit open. Uh, notice that it that recap recognizes it as a single scan hit index scan wait until recap indexes that one scan once it's done we have the same kind of a view that we had in scene still not leveled but at least it's not 100 different scans it's just one so if you look at this there's only one scan so the only thing you have to do now is save this and I also want to export this into a different file format export it I like E57 and that's the one that I found that works best with scene so E57 I'll give it a cool name call it we'll do it entrance but we'll add a one here 
because I already have one. Enter. Now this is created. We can go ahead and actually close out of recap. Go back into scene. And now, instead of importing the PTX file, I will find where I created my E57, which I believe went right here. There's my E57 entrance folder. It always warns you that there's not going to be a planar or a quick view, but that's okay. So now I have a dot product single scan here. I can view it in 3D. And what's nice about the E57, even though it imports, it's not leveled, what you can do is you can turn on your toolbar, your freestyle toolbar. And the freestyle toolbar will let you pick one or three points. I like three points just to be a little bit more accurate with my uh, picking level. You can either pick it from here or you can just right click it and go into operations and registration level with three clicks or just one click. But I like again three clicks because I'm at least giving it a nice you know geometry for your level. Uh, now the scan should be leveled and you can see that it's pretty good. So we have this already leveled in C. What I like to do next is this is where I import my scan that I have done with my actual ferro scanner. So let me go into uh, my folder where I have my backup raw data. It happens to be this guy. Let me bring that in. Let me load it. And you will notice that if we visualize these two guys together, we'll be nowhere near each other. So if I go Okay, this guy, he's here. If I now go locate this guy, is way off in the distance somewhere else. Completely different. But, because they're now under a regular scans folder, what I can do is go into operations, do a registration, go into play scans. I will do a top view based registration. I'll hit OK. And as you can see, what happens over here is the software actually is able to figure out scan 001 and the dot product E57 file merges them together with a pretty tight, tight accuracy 0 0.01 feet over here. Now if I want to verify that it actually kind of worked, we can fly in here and look at the actual data. Intentionally I have one of the data sets black and white so you can see that there's my scan data over here and then the color is essentially the data that I captured with a dot product scanner. I can further refine the placement which is not ideal yet by running a cloud to cloud registration. And I'm hoping cloud to cloud works and gets me a little bit better accuracy. And now we're talking nine thousandths of a foot. So now, not only do I have my scan data, which was captured from right over here, I also have the data that was captured by the dot product interpolated over here. They both are laying on top of each other 
and at this point I'm done with the merging of the actual file.